Well hello there everybody, welcome to my room, my name's Mikey and it's time for another tutorial. Yes, you guys have been asking and asking away, when are we going to get round to drawing your male anime and manga characters? And yes, finally, here we are. So this tutorial is going to be all about using really simple shapes and basic building blocks to get the form of your male character design down. And then you can kind of put any sort of character type that you want on top of that. So grab yourself a sheet of paper. Use a few sheets if you're just going to work on your desk because it makes your surface much softer. I'm using a cheap mechanical disposable pencil. Anything that you've got that's around a HB or a 2B will do the trick. Here's a rubber because everybody makes mistakes in life. We've said it before, we'll say it again. Goodbye. And it helps if you have yourself a lovely cup of tea in the background. Tea sip. Mmm. Delicious. So what I want you guys to do if you want to follow along is just go ahead and go over to the left side of your paper because we're going to go and draw a slightly more muscular anime character, kind of a bigger bloke, and then we'll have a go at drawing sort of maybe a slightly younger teen as well to get the full range in. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to dive onto the paper and I'm going to use a circle to make the head of my character. So I'm going to keep these construction lines fairly dark so that they show up nice and clearly on the camera phone um, but in real life I'd probably do all of these things a little bit lighter so draw yourself a circle like so just like this and then what you want to do is from the center point of this circle create a line that just comes down I'm going to go slightly off to the side because I'll have this character facing ever so slightly off to the left and make that center line just drop down about another third of length. So what I'm getting at is that if you imagine this circle is split in half, we're going another half down around about here. So this circle shape ends up being the top of the character's head, the top and the skull. And so what we're going to do is go from the outside edge here and just bring down a line which drops off below this circle line and then meets this down towards a middle point here. And that becomes the chin. And that's kind of our basic shape for the side of the face. What we're also going to do is come back up on the other side and bring this line back up to meet the circle at this edge as well. And that's how you get your overall face shape in. Let's make sure that everything's in focus. Lovely, and back we go. So now that we've got our character's head in, what I like to do is just have a line which indicates where the body's going to fall down, i.e. the neck and the rest of the character is probably going to drop somewhere like this off of the page. Now, what you can always do is, after you've got your head shape in, I like to mark out two particular areas losing a line. A line to indicate the shoulders and a line to indicate the hips. So if I go below this head and just have a line that comes out like so, something like this, just going to make that nice and dark for you guys. This is a line that tells me where the character's shoulders are going to be coming across. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and measure approximately about two or three heads further down. So here's our head and I'm going to go one and then I'm going to go two down to around about here. And this is roughly where I'm going to have the hips of my character. So this is another line that comes out like so. And when we draw female characters, which if you guys are new to the channel, welcome along. If you haven't already, come click that subscribe button down in the bottom of the screen. We've got loads of tutorials, don't worry. Um, but if you guys have followed along the channel for a while, we've done a lot of tutorials about drawing girls so far, and we make the hips quite wide and curvy with girls. With men, we don't actually do that with our male anime characters. We quite often make the shoulders much bigger instead. So now that I've got this line here that tells me about the shoulders and a line here which tells me about the hips, I'm going to start to use some really basic shapes to put it all together. So for this character here, I'm going to have a neck that just drops off down here. This is basically just a tube that comes down on this side. And then because it's quite a thick, well-built character, it's going to come down from around about here as well, just off to the back at an angle. And if you imagine where we've got this circle line here, this character is probably going to have an ear which we can just make using a shape, just a little ellipse around about there. And with this ear height or this center circle height, we can get a center line that comes across the head. And this tells us that the forehead and brow of our character is up here and the rest of the face is here. So maybe I'm going to just pop a really loose eye shape here just so we kind of know what's going on. One there and one over here. and then. 
just a slight small circle for the pupil in each instance. And this character's may be going to be fairly well built, maybe folding their arms or something, showing off their chest and muscles, and just kind of chilling out vaguely. So there we go, we'll have a design there. And I'm just going to mark a little nose line by just putting kind of like a triangular point just down here somewhere like so. And then maybe just a cheeky little smile somewhere down here. So all of our face is fitting in the bottom two thirds of this section. But anyway, back to the body shape. So now that I've got this neckline in, I'm going to go ahead and create a great big elliptical shape. So that's going to be a kind of flattened semicircle that goes over the top over here like so. And again, I'm just gonna make that line nice and dark. Excellent. And then the rest of the chest is gonna be, imagine an egg shape basically, that's just dropping off down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slightly off to the left hand side, make this really big egg shape. And this is gonna be the top part of our anime character. I won't worry too much about anatomy and fine details because this is a super basic version just to give you an idea of how you can put these shapes together. And then down here where we've got the hips, I'm gonna make another kind of ellipse, but this is gonna be more flat and on its side. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in this instance, it's an elliptical shape that's kind of more round here. And then in a very similar way, oh dear, my voice is breaking. Well, wow, puberty's finally here to my 30s. In a very similar way, it's gonna come down and around here as well, just like so. So I've got this big ellipse, which is upright, and I've got this kind of elliptical shape that's on its side. And this is just gonna help mark everything out. So with the rest of the body shape, I'm gonna imagine a line that comes down the front of this torso, and it's gonna drop all the way down the front and curve back towards the middle here. And then I'm gonna put some shoulder circles in for where these shoulders are going to be. So if you just go right to the edge here where we've got this shoulder line, and all you have to do is draw or imagine a circle that's here for one of the shoulders. And I'm not quite filling it in the middle, but you know where it is. And another circle over here for the other shoulder as well. In a very similar vein, just coming up around the outside edge but not worrying about filling it in too much in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is draw some crossed arms on this character. And the way that we get the arms in is we start by just drawing some lines from the shoulder. So I'm gonna have a line that goes down here, just a simple guideline, maybe another line that goes down to a very similar way around about here. Again, simple guideline. And then this line is going to maybe go straight across for one arm, like so because the arms are folded. And this line is going to also go in, but just over because the arms are overlapping. So this arm's probably just gonna go up and across like this. Now that I've got these arms in, I'm actually gonna go ahead and draw some circles where the elbows are. So where we've got the point of the arm, I'm just going to draw in an elbow circle here and an elbow circle here. Again, these are our guiding shapes and then in the end of things, I'm gonna have a hand that's maybe around about here. So a really small elliptical shape at the end just to indicate the wrist. And then this hand's gonna be hidden behind the rest of the body. So it would have an elliptical shape around about here, but you probably won't see it. And I'm going to start to put these arms together. So from this elbow circle up to this shoulder shape, we can just draw a line that kind of comes up like so. It's gonna curve just a little bit for the muscle of the arm, but it basically goes there and then another line on this side that just joins it together here. And then over here, we're gonna do a similar thing. Let's have a line that comes all the way down and around here to join this end of the wrist up to this joint, like so. And then similar on this side, I'm gonna have a line that comes down here, just making it up to the elbow. And then a line that's gonna come up and around here, but it's hidden behind the rest of this arm. And then it's probably gonna come down and around here as well, like so. Now we can have some more uh, point to the elbow because whenever you've got an arm which is bent, treat it like an arrow. This point of the arm is pointing off in this direction. So I know the elbow joint is going to be a bump around about here. And then this arm, if you imagine the shape of the arm is two lines creating an arrow pointing in that direction, then again, I'm just gonna have a slight elbow bump around about there, lovely. So now that we've got the overall shapes at the top, let's get the chest in. We've got a shape down the middle here. 
So you can map the shape out by basically putting a collarbone line around about here where you've got everything joining in from the shoulder level and another collarbone shape that just goes up and back like so. And then you can put a line down the middle and just section off two areas that might be this character's chest up round here like so and also up round here like so. Great. Then I'm just going to have the rest of the hand goes off behind the muscle there and maybe just a little bit of the hand is sneaking out on this side as well. Just all the fingers folded in where it's curved and tucked underneath. So we've got this really big body frame in then just some lines which are going to come down from the chest shape that we've got here. It's going to join things up at the hip and it is going to just come out a bit from the hip and we're going to join it up with these two lines that come up here. So we've got this kind of trunk shape of the body. We're going to drop off two lines again for the legs, one off to the right, off the bottom of the page and one off to the left as well, off the bottom of the page. And again, if you imagine that around about down off the screen, we've got some knee circles. We're just going to drop some leg shapes off. So one leg's going to come down here and maybe down here as well, just like so. And then I'm just going to create a line that shows where the leg joins into the hip area. And again, we're getting these basic shapes in for some simple characters. It might not be super perfect, but you get the idea. And then on this side as well, curving in the other direction slightly, we're going to have another bit of leg that comes off down here and comes off down here. So let's have another quick look through the camera phone. Excellent. We've got some very basic building blocks to build up our character's shape here. We've got the circle for the head. We've got a neck that comes down. This becomes our shoulder line. And although we've used lots of curves, we're going to straighten out some of the lines and create these neater looks because that will help all give more of a masculine feel to, feel to our character if you thicken out lines but straighten them instead of curves. The ladies have the curves, the guys have the straight lines. Careful. And so what I will be doing when I put a character onto this is just uh, using all of these guidelines to kind of slightly amend the shape and build something on top. So we're going to come back to this. Let's have another go. I hope you're keeping up at home. So with this character, we're going to draw somebody who's um, a little bit more of a teen shape, maybe a little bit slimmer and smaller. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with another starting circle somewhere up about here. And I'm just going to once again, get that in, keeping that circle as clean as I can for a clean guideline to see for you guys at home. And I build up my circle using lots of little different strokes like this. And then I'm going to have this character maybe facing away off towards the right. So this center line is going to come right down on this side. Something like so. Give it a curve to go with the line of the face. And now that I've got this chin point, I'm going to just join that up around about here on this side. Like so. And create a line that comes back and up on this side like so. So then again, you can imagine this character has an ear, which is around about here. And the center line or the brow line of this character is somewhere up here, which means they're going to have an eye over here in this zone. Maybe something like so. Looking off to the right hand, maybe. And then an eye somewhere around here. I'm just doing the top of the hood of the eye for the moment. Just kind of looking off somewhere over there. That means their nose is going to be down around about here. Just hooking back and up and again maybe they've just got a standard look on their face with a little mouth line down here so with this character again i've got a line that sort of tells me that they're going to be standing up somewhere around about here and i'm going to just drop down some shoulder lines again so from here to here this character is going to be less well built but still have a shoulder line that indicates where we're going to start from just below the head and then I'm going to go maybe another couple of heads down. So one, two heads down to around about here. And we're going to have this character's hip line as well, fairly equal. So we've got a level shoulder line and a level hip line. If I was to start messing around with things and make the shoulder line um, at an angle, maybe in like that, then I'd want to make the hip line to make it look interesting as an image. Uh, at another angle that sort of counters it. But we're going to come to that and we're going to go into more detail in the future. Don't you worry, this is all about keeping it simple and basic for now. So let's have a neckline 
just coming off of this character's head like so. We're just going to draw that down. And then we're going to have another shape where we have this elliptical curve for a bit of the shoulders here. We've got the overall top curve of the body up here. And you don't just have to use curved shapes with the guys. This one I'm going to make more of a box just to show you a slightly bonier, skinnier character has straighter lines and less curves. So this skinnier, more sort of teen character, I'm just going to use a box shape that curves slightly in like so. Just like this. So again, I'm getting quite sketchy because it's, that's how I will normally do my building blocks. But I'm going to try to keep these as solid lines for you like this and then where we've got the hips another box a bit more on its side as well so in this instance i'm going to draw a nice rectangle still kind of curvy around about here just like this let's join that up so that it's a solid shape for you guys and that's my guiding lines in this example for this body the front of the body is right down here here's our center line curving all over the stomach right down past the tummy, right down to the middle. And then you can join this up with a line here. So we've got our hips shape coming in and coming up for this character. Just gonna join that up there as well. This is our basic bit. And then in a very similar way, we're gonna do our lines and bits. So I can have an arm for this character that maybe just comes off out here, just a straight guiding line. And then this is gonna go down to the hip where his hand's gonna just rest on the side. So another straight guiding line here. And then with this hand, obviously I'm doing another elliptical shape for the wrist. And I'm just gonna draw a hand which is very simple. It's gonna be a big oval circular shape like this. And I'm gonna have some fingers coming off of the end. Now I do have a tutorial all about how to draw basic hands and stuff. So please don't worry too much here. This is gonna be very, very simple. And you can always check out my hand tutorial for how to do all these other bits and details because I don't want to overload you guys with too much straight away. I'm just getting some fingers in. That's all you need to know. This character has hands up there and back here. And then last finger is probably going to be up here and down like so. Ugh, we'll come back to that. So this arm as well is going to just come down on this side. So one straight line down here. And then maybe it's just hanging free. So I'm just going to drop this straight line all the way down just past the level of the hips because that's how long the arm is before it goes into another ellipse and just becomes the hand again. So again, just a simple shape that blocks out the hand and the rest of the fingers can kind of just come off the side like so. One, two, three, four little bumps. But not to worry, thumb off the side. And again, to join this up, I've got a circle much smaller now for the joint here, a much smaller circle for the joint here, and smaller shoulder circles as well. So let's have a shoulder circle for this character here, a shoulder circle for this character on this side as well, because as a teen, they're less muscly, less overdeveloped, so they're going to have a smaller, lighter frame. Going from these shoulder circles, I can again just get in some collarbone lines in here and in here for the character and then this neckline as well i'm just going to smooth out the top where this all joins in and again just join up these arms with some simple lines one's coming up here one's coming up here and then same down here i keep things thicker near the elbow um, than they are at the wrist for the forearm so again just an arm that comes down here and that's just coming off here as well Maybe a little bit of a bump for the elbow is going to be out here somewhere. And then on this arm, a really similar thing. It's going up here against the body, up here for the outside edge of the arm. And then on this part, it's a forearm. It just curves down, slightly thicker at the top, thinner as it makes its way down ever so slightly. And then the legs are going to drop off as well. So one line down here for the leg, another line down there. And then I'm just going to actually draw some slightly thicker legs that just come off of this character. One here, meets the hip like so, and then another leg here is just meeting the hip on this side. So there you have it. Let's have another look through. We've got some 
really super simple shapes here that build up our characters. Now, you can use these building blocks any way you want. Remember that the arms are just lines, which we then join up with these circles and then put everything together with these joining lines to help create this shape. And the reason why we're using all these different blocks is because they do very loosely represent parts of the human body. So this big kind of squarish shape here is actually the rib cage of the character. If you imagine the ribs start there and you get the muscles of the character's stomach down here as they meet in towards the hips and groin. And then all these circular shapes, these big shoulder circles are actually these big deltoid shoulder muscles that meet everything in. And these arms have got biceps here and they've got triceps here which are coming out. There's all sorts of things going on. But you can, instead of worrying too much about all these little details, just start with these basic shapes first and then we're going to build up. So I hope you guys have found this bit useful. I'm going to drop into a time lapse. And now that I've got my building blocks and shapes, I'm going to draw a character on top of each of these and then we'll be right back at the end. Okay. Okay guys, so welcome back and there you have it. I really hope you guys found this tutorial to be useful when it comes to using very simple building blocks and basic shapes to create the structure of your male anime and manga characters. Because once you've got that out of the way, just like you've seen, you can really put any old design that comes to mind on top of it to in fact get your characters to come to life. So I've made a kind of slightly more muscled, jockish, but Asiatic kind of main character here. This guy is a bit more leaner and casual with this awfully designed shirt that I hate already. Um, but I hope it really just gives you a sense of what's going on. If you kept up at home and have had your own goes, you can always submit your artwork to me on my Facebook page, link in the description below. And of course, get in the comments. Let me know guys what tutorials you want to see in the future and we'll get cracking at them. And I hope you guys just love having a go at drawing as well, because I make all of these free tutorial videos on YouTube but it's really all thanks to your support on Patreon so if you ever want to check out my Patreon page there should be a link on screen and in the description below because your support there makes all of this possible and of course you get other cheeky rewards that you can't get anywhere else so guys I hope you all have a lovely week thank you very much again you guys are the best and I'll see you next time round take care <laughs>